Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red and this is Lady Red's Tech Reviews and today we're going to take a look and unbox the Moto G Power right now at Cricut Wireless. So stay here. Leave a like if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and get all the notifications for the new videos. Alright, so today we're going to take a look, quick look and unbox the Moto G Power. I'm going to try not to go too far in depth with this one. Uh, there probably will be some future videos, so make sure that you have the bell ring. Um, we're just going to take a quick look at this one. The specs, the full specs, will be at the very end of the video. And as always, pricing and availability, please contact your local retailer for that one. Okay, so we have the Moto G Power. This is the 2021 4G LTE OctaCord Android smartphone. So this is not 5G compatible. Beautiful 6.6 inch Max Vision, Max Vision HD Plus display. Up to three day battery life with the standard 5,000 milliamp per hour battery you've all come to know and love. 48 megapixel triple camera system with LED flash. 8 megapixel front camera and a fingerprint sensor. So let's get it out. Right. In the box, we have a beast of a phone. Wow, this has some weight to it, some guts to it. I like it already. All right. All right, and we have your SIM key. SIM card. Volume 1, Stuff People Don't Read. Volume 2 of Stuff People Don't Read. And Volume 3 of Stuff People Don't Read. We have a monster of a charging block here. We're definitely going to be fast charging because Motorola doesn't do anything less. And Type C Charging which is coming standard on pretty much all of the better phones. All right. And what we've got here is beautiful back design here. I really like that. It's nice uh, way, kind of a half of a spiral there. You've got your triple camera set up here with your flash. Nice little box set up. And your Motorola branding, your Cricut Tramp Stamp. Here we've got your power key, just like on the G-Stylus. It will have the fingerprint sensor in the power key. Your volume rocker. No Google Assistant key. Uh, just your SIM tray. And on the top, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the microphone. You've got your bottom firing speaker, Type-C charging port, and another microphone. On the front, you have your front camera, and tucked in nice and neat is your main speaker. So let's fire it up and see what it's all about. So this is the second one I have seen that was a SIM lock device. Like you have to put the SIM card in it to set it up. So this is how you insert the SIM card to set the phone up. All right, so you just wanna pop your SIM card right out. Do this over a table so if you drop it, you don't lose it. All right, take your SIM key. There's a little pinhole, pop it in there, you'll feel a switch, pull it right out, SIM card, it'll only fit one way, you can see the little notch, fit it right in, and then just slide it in, just like that. All right, so we've got it all set up, and what we're going to do now is take a quick look 
through the settings through the menu we're not gonna go real far in depth I will be doing another follow-up video real soon so network and internet as you can see this is where um, you're gonna be able to check your Wi-Fi status uh, your network status um, back and mobile hotspot and tethering that's where that's going to be make sure if you have unlimited data turn your data saver off go ahead and set that to off all right connected devices as you can see we are not nfc enabled uh, apps and notifications this is the best place to uninstall any kind of unwanted apps now cricket phones like many other carrier phones do come with a lot of bloatware uh, to turn those off you would just click on one click uninstall and okay and that's all you got to do you just uh, find the ones you don't want take them right out and as with every video every unboxing on my channel mobile services absolutely do this Turn off all of the notifications, go down to mobile data and Wi-Fi, make sure you do not deny all those permissions, and then disable the app. Do it in that order. Oh, looky there. Sometimes that is on, sometimes it's off. Make sure it's switched to off, because this app causes lots of problems. All right, and as you can see, there is going to be some bloatware involved here. Um, you can just take all of that right out just like that simple quick take it right out something else you might want to do go to Chrome and switch off the notifications because Chrome can send you some really funky notifications and be quite embarrassing if your parents or your kids got a hold of it even if you had nothing to do with it it's just Chrome being Chrome it'll still make you look bad so uh, battery now this does have that monster 5,000 milliamp per hour battery uh, so you're going to get a lot of battery usage from one charge uh, if you want to see what may be eating your battery and this is one reason we take out mobile services because sitting here on the counter for the last couple hours doing absolutely nothing drain two percent of the battery on here so that's a lot of work for an app that wasn't even in the foreground uh, but that's what you would check if uh, you wanted just to see you know if maybe something's draining your battery that'll show you what's eating up your power uh, display all right now to turn on night theme or dark mode dark theme whatever you want to call it you would go in here to display and scroll down oh, right there Switch it right on, and there it is. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave this on. I'll, I prefer it anyway. Uh, to change your font size, make it a little easier to read. We're going to make it bigger so you can see it easily here on your screen while you're watching this video. Um, display size, you can change that here too if you, you know, have trouble with eyesight. Um, sound, this is where you're going to be able to adjust your volume, set your ringtones, all right and storage if you want to see how your storage is holding up you've got 64 gigs of internal storage and uh, you can see now the system only takes up 15 gigs which is not bad not bad at all now once you've taken out all of these oh, right now the games are taking up none because we haven't actually turned them on um, other apps that's what we're yeah, see, look at that, Pit Rescue. Yeah, you can take up, take those out, and you're going to save yourself some space. So, system, Android 10. All right. Now, moving right along, um, you check your privacy here, location, uh, just depends on what kind of app you're looking at as whether or not you want to um, have access to your location or not. If it's a weather app, absolutely let it have access to your location so you get reliable weather information. Security, you're going to have uh, screen lock, fingerprint, and face unlock. SIM card lock. Now, this is a nice new feature I've not seen yet. Um, this is going to show you, yes, it is locked to Cricut. If you want to unlock it, contact customer service. They'll tell you how. Okay, accessibility. Let's make sure all of this stuff is turned off. 
and you would definitely want to do that because you can accidentally turn it on and your phone will drive you crazy talking to you so that's how you would do that and this is everything else that is available here and we're going to keep moving it right along you've got your google rating and feedback most people ignore that i am one of those i am most people let's check about phone now the full specs for this will be at the very end of this video uh, but we're just going to take a look right here you've got the moto g power 2021 uh, hardware information 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, 1600 by 720 display. You've got your information here for your camera. Front mega 8 megapixel, that's your selfie cam. Rear, if you can see that a little better, 48 megapixel uh, by 2 by 2. So, again, full specs at the end of the video. And you can see it's running Android 10. Now, if you want to um, open the developer options, what you're going to do, scroll all the way down to build number, tap, 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 and now you have developer options. Okay, if you want to go back real quick, that right there, just your navigation. All right, now we're going to go into system, and here are your gestures. Now, this is where you're going to be able to change system navigation and you can go back from gestures back to three button navigation if you feel more comfortable with the three button navigation but I'm accustomed to gestures I don't mind the moto gestures uh, so we're going to leave it there but if you do want to change it this is where you do that okay now you've got three finger screenshot super handy if you're looking at phone numbers anything like that um, Let's see, fast flashlight, my favorite, 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 look, shake it, flashlight on, shake it, flashlight off, super, super handy, that is probably the thing I use the absolute most every day, more than likely, without a doubt, I am shaking my phone, turning on the flashlight, quick capture is kind of annoying, you can switch your phone like this, and as you can see, you turn on your camera and flip it around and back again, but you can't turn it off. So back and swipe to split the screen. Um, this is a little bit tricky. I'm still trying to get the hang of that one. Reset options. Anytime you're not getting a good signal, um, what you want to do is, uh, reset now you can do this right here reset your settings and that's going to unpair you from all bluetooth like if your bluetooth connection is not holding very well or you're having trouble linking up to wi-fi um maybe you're not getting a good data signal this is some of the first things that we do in the store factory data reset make sure you remove that google account first all right and so adaptive performance turn that on um i'm finding this to be something i don't even know this is running but i do notice that my phone's a lot smoother uh, i have this with my g stylus and i'm coming to love it so much the ai functions it holds your place it's like a bookmark it's going to keep what you use the most um sort of on hold in the background and things you don't use very often it's going to shut them down and clear out your ram for you and now the developer options. All right, this is where you can check your RAM usage. And some pretty standard stuff here. Nothing. Uh, this is, uh, these two are new. Let's see. Pretty standard stuff here. Feature flags, this is something new, and it's still experimental, so it's not going to tell us anything about it. All right, this is something I do. Uh, I keep Wi-Fi scan throttling on because um, a lot of phones will be constantly looking for Wi-Fi, and that will drain your battery, and it can affect your performance. And mobile data always active I always turn that on just because I have unlimited high-speed data and I don't want to have to worry about turning it off and turning it back on. So I automatically turn that on. 
okay your default usb configuration now this is if you're using like the, a laptop um you're going to transfer videos or pictures you can go ahead and set it up however you want to do it there All right, uh, disable absolute volume. This is something I do with all of my devices too. Um, this gets you a little bit of a volume boost. Whenever you're listening to speakers or earbuds, you want it loud, turn that on. All right, and another little trick that I like to do is turn off the animations. This will give your phone a little performance boost. It'll make it run a little faster. Just turn off those animations. And everything else looks pretty standard. Background check. That's kind of new. There's nothing running in the background right now. So if you want to see what's running in the background, that would be where to go to look. Yep, I'm not seeing a whole lot uh bubbles some notifications can appear as bubbles on the screen that annoys me it's like chat heads i always turn off chat heads and then you can change the color and themes of uh your background and your apps I'm not going to worry about that right now system updates it is current and up to date this is your security patch information straight out of the box december 1st 2020 got it all right, now we're going to take a quick look at the camera and what features are going to be available. So you are going to have portrait, the cutout, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panoramic, group selfie, live filters, and pro mode, slow-mo, time-lapse, and spot color. Spot color is really cool if you just want to be fun and creative. Um, we're not going to get real, real deep into that right now. Um, we will do that in a camera video comparing this camera, which has a triple camera set, with the G-Stylus, which has a quadruple camera set. Pulling it up, you can see you can, these are your choices for your flash, active photos, aspect ratio. You've got 3x4, 9x16, and square full frame right there now let's took, take a look at a few pictures now this is portrait mode with Maya the house wolf she is the star of lots of pictures and let's flip it over and let, let you get a little better look Bring it in right here. Okay, so this is in portrait mode. Up close, you see Maya the house wolf looking as beautiful as ever in her little sheddy spot. She does love to shed, but all of that is blurred away and her face is front and center. Next, same, just another shot. I am not a photographer. And this is Oscar. This is using night mode in a low light situation um and you have to give it a second it'll say hold still it means hold still or it looks like this and this is without low light this is just standard point and shoot no flash and we have Bodoke here standard point and shoot now wide angle will not be available with this phone um this is just point and shoot, and that's not a real bright area, but it's not a real dim area either. Now, let's see if we have macro available and how good it is. I'm pretty sure we're going to use this. This is what I use for the G Stylus. Put it down here, and let's see how good the macro is. Now, macro should automatically engage. Right 
there, switch to macro, and get my hand off the light. You can get really close and it stays nice and clear. I'm about two inches off of it. Let's get a little closer. Let's see, that's about an inch. All right, let's see how that looks. That is really clear. You can even look, like see the grain of like right here. You can even see the grain of the aluminum. Yeah, that's really nice. So macro is fantastic with this foam. All right, and there it is. You got your Google launcher here. Your apps are going to be here. Now, if you want to switch from one app to another, flick it up. And there you go. If you are, let's say, get rid of that, looking at pictures and you just want to go back to the main menu, just a flick. That's all you got to do, just a flick. Or you can go into your settings menu and change it right back to the buttons if that's easier for you to navigate. You want to change your home screen, press and hold your finger here, wallpapers, and you're going to get a selection of them. So there it is. That is your Moto G Power 2021 by Cricut Wireless. Tell me what you think about it. Is this the next phone for you? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on the video. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and get the notifications for more upcoming videos. And now, your spec screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lady Red. All right, now we're gonna take a quick look at the camera and what features are going to be available. So you are going to have portrait, the cutout, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panoramic, group selfie, live filters, and pro mode, slow-mo, time-lapse, and spot color. Spot color is really cool if you just want to be fun and creative. Um, we're not going to get real, real deep into that right now. Um, we will do that in a camera video comparing this camera which has a triple camera set with the G-Stylus which has a quadruple camera set. Pulling it up you can see you can, these are your choices for your flash, active photos, aspect ratio, you've got 3 by 4 number 16 and square full frame right there. Now let's take a look at a few pictures. Okay so this is in portrait mode up close you see maya the house wolf looking as beautiful as ever in her little sheddy spot she does love to shed but all of that is blurred away and her face is front and center next same just another shot i am not a photographer and this is oscar this is using night mode in a low light situation um, and you have to give it a second it'll say hold still it means hold still or it looks like this and this is without low light this is just standard point and shoot no flash and we have Bodoke here standard point and shoot now wide angle will not be available with this foam um, this is just point and shoot, and that's not a real bright area, but it's not a real dim area either. Now let's see if we have macro available and how good it is, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna use, this is what I use for the G-Stylus. Put it 
down here and let's see how good the macro is. Now, macro should automatically engage right there. Switch to macro and get my hand off the light. You can get really close and it stays nice and clear. I'm about two inches off of it. Let's get a little closer. Let's see, that's about an inch. All right, let's see how that looks. That is really clear. You can even look, like see the grain of like right here. You can even see the grain of the aluminum. Yeah, that's really nice. So macro is fantastic with this foam. All right, and there it is. You got your Google launcher here. Your apps are going to be here. Now, if you want to switch from one app to another, flick it up. And there you go. If you are, let's say, get rid of that, looking at pictures and you just want to go back to the main menu, just a flick. That's all you got to do, just a flick. Or you can go into your settings menu and change it right back to the buttons if that's easier for you to navigate. You want to change your home screen, press and hold your finger here, wallpapers, and you're going to get a selection of them. So there it is. That is your Moto G Power 2021 by Cricut Wireless. Tell me what you think about it. Is this the next phone for you? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on the video. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and get the notifications for more upcoming videos. And now, your spec screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lady Red.